Hey guys, it's Pingu here with part 26 of the Dwarf Fortress tutorial. Um, we successfully held off that ambush, and rather quite well, because we did not lose a single individual. Um, not even uh, this woodworker. I don't know where he's gone, but even he is still alive. Um, it's just, get used to it. Um, I'm not, not get used to it, but just learn how to counter these ambushes. Uh, being defensive is the best uh, defense, uh, quite obviously. I mean, it comes in the words, and... Uh, and don't get too impatient and send all your melee guys out, uh, or even your archers out, because uh, sometimes they'll. Uh, sometimes it makes sense, like uh, if you if there's a siege and you just have a bunch of uh, a bunch of enemies just milling off in the corner of the map, just send some archers out uh, to attack them, and uh, maybe they'll even run away. It's the easiest way to break a siege is to attack them, um, and hopefully they don't attack back. So uh, one time they were sieging right up in front of here, I just put my archers on the battlements and uh, shot down and made them retreat with just actually one archer and some wooden cro uh, wooden bolts. And it uh, doesn't take much sometimes. Um, oh yeah, there's a woodcutter. Uh, yeah, he's he's hurt, but see he's being treated already and he's not that hurt. Um, so don't think, oh I need to save that woodcutter and send out all my melee guys. I uh, just want to re reiterate that a bit more. Hopefully this kid doesn't go insane. Uh, rough color. I don't. I don't even care. You know. I don't care. I hope the kid goes insane and kills everybody, because that would be uh, typical of Dwarf Fortress. So uh, I have these. Uh, <laughs> how are you down here? We got the, some naked mole rat chilling in my uh, my potential new barracks. Um, but we go down. And we've got the uh, the adamantine uh, sitting at the bottom down here. Uh, we want to use it. We want to. Uh, turn it into uh, materials, so you do that with, at a craft dwarf's uh, workshop. And I get it, I mean, it's been pausing so often in this tutorial, I mean, these tutorial series, they'll just come up and say, like, oh, uh, 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 and uh, I don't want it to. I want to just, uh, want to ignore all that, so I'm not even going to trade with these guys. Uh, we've got a dwarven reactor going up here, so you see, uh, we started pumping uh, manually, but what happens is uh, it, it automatically starts going, so you end up pumping from down here, you pump from this tile, and uh, pump up here, and then the water falls down and powers these uh, things. So uh, you hit Q and go over, it actually says total power 200, total power needed 31. And that's it, it just needed 31 to power the screw pump. And uh, it shows you, and, and, and this uh, axle down here, and it shows you how almost overpowered... Uh, <laughs> this Torven reactor design is you can even get away with uh, just using one water wheel if you just want to like, take 80 power or something. Um, B, W, and Millstone, capital M, you're going to build it right there because we just built it. Requires a mechanism as well, but that will allow us to uh, turn any of our plants, uh, not any of them, but certain plants into flour and sugar and whatnot. And uh, we can have a, a nice uh, a collection using this abundant power. Uh, you can have these Dwarven Reactors power some other stuff, like if you want to uh, move a lot of water around. So you say you want to uh, move uh, water up and maybe make a drown chamber somewhere or something. Like a, I usually make my main hallway be a, a drown chamber, so uh, I can't do it here, but, but I could just theoretically pull a lever or uh, have a, a, a trap and uh, drown any of the intruders that are coming in single file into my uh, fortress. Um, I've also got these uh, mechanisms set up in cages, so I'm going to start flooding this uh, area and also forbid passage, because the last thing I want to do is let those uh, goblins and whatnot get out. Um, quite dangerous. They could just run around in my fortress. Even though they're unarmed, they can still do some damage. Uh, the millstone's up. Uh, there's a, only one thing you can do with a millstone if you add tusk, is mill plants. So I'm just going to hate mill plants on repeat. Um, you need a miller, you know, a, a dwarf with the mill, milling skill enabled. Um, I don't think this is enabled uh, very often by default. Like It's one of those rare skills as well, so uh, just make sure you have uh, somebody set up to do it. Oh, Snatcher. Oh, no. Snatcher, no snatching. See, the, these invisible guys, they'll just run out and try to murder a few of your cats, but uh, they're, they're nothing to be worried about if you uh, have any sort of presence in your front entrance. Now I flooded this area, I'm going to pull the lever again first, because I've done this before, where I've released the cages, 
and they climb out through this uh, this way out. But it said now that they uh, that's been pulled, I'm going to pull this one, and this should spring the cages. Now they will be out, and they can drown. Most importantly, and uh, you could also you could try and release them first, and maybe put a a wall grate there so they can't get out, and water can. But just like that, we have an execution drowning chamber, and uh, they are dead. I'm going to unforbid these doors and remove one of them so we can just let this water drain out. You can even get fancy and make a drowning, uh, I mean, a, a sewer system. Uh, maybe even using some screw pumps to screw it up to the river level. So, uh, or you could just run it off map. It would work fine um, because water flows off the map. And uh, and we've just murdered a few uh, goblins. Uh, no no blood or anything. It's actually a, a better way of doing it. Uh, okay, so Craft Dwarf's workshop is up. We want to make a stockpile of stone. I'm going to uh, just uh, go down, and raw adamantine is at the very bottom. Um, it's pretty easy. It's actually one up from the bottom, but I'm going to just make a stockpile here. And uh, have our dwarfs uh, bring it all up there, because the last thing I want to do is have multiple trips all the way down. You know, all the way down there. That's just a... That would be terrible, having a Craft Dwarf... Uh, because it takes a long, 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 long time to remove this, uh, to process these strips. And it would be even worse if, uh, if he had to go down to grab them uh, individually after each time. So you have to uh, weave adamantine into, uh, into thread. And then you have to, uh, have to turn it into uh, waffers at the smelter. Or uh, I think uh, there's another way of making it... Uh, uh, I think you weave it into weave metal thread uh, is at the, the loom, um, but uh, just take my word for it. <laughs> it is. Uh, that's if you want to make a few other things like uh, like a chain mail and whatnot. Uh, weave metal cloth. Uh, but for now, we want to make some swords out of it because it's it's very good with any sort of a uh, um, sharp uh, bladed object um, because you have this uh, this extremely lightweight, extremely lo uh, strong material. So. Uh, it's not great for any sort of blunt weapons. You won't do a lot of damage with something that light, even though you can swing it quickly. Uh, that's why it's a sword or even just some uh, armor in general is a better use of it. And uh, I'm just going to uh, extract metal strands at the very bottom and have that on repeat. And uh, if uh, somebody doesn't have its skill enabled, make sure strand extraction is enabled. Um, I want to spend one part on the dwarf... Uh, this dwarf therapist utility, and that will probably be the next part. But until then, I will uh, first dig out a few areas uh, for our magma. Uh, all the way down. I'm going to uh, just dig out this wall over here. And uh, maybe underneath, I'm going to uh, just have a little chamber where I can put this magma. And uh, then we can build our smelters uh, on top of the magma tiles. So uh, they can uh, be powered uh, that way. Um. Yeah, that should be uh should be good enough. Uh, maybe one one more further that way. I'll just make six by six. Um, magma will take out all the coal in your re reactions except for any steel related ones. Um, so just know that that uh, if you need uh if you want to make steel, you still need to uh have the traditional uh well some of the coal because uh, it will not uh, be good enough by default. What am I I'm sorry, I'm just trying to talk while doing it. So you still need some coal in order to make steel. Um, not as much, you need uh, even less than half the amount. But uh, look up the re reaction. Uh, you need Basically, in order to smelt pig iron, you need one coal. In order to uh, smelt uh, steel, you need one coal. Uh, so that should be, uh, should be it. And I've channeled out these areas specifically because I know the uh, workshop shape. Or uh, don't know the workshop shape because otherwise I wouldn't have done that. And uh, this just allow me, so I uh, don't even need to uh, worry about uh, having a staircase or anything, because those channels, since I'm channeling into area that won't be mined out, there'll still be those ramps there. And uh, yeah, Roy and Amentin praise the miners, it saw some over here. Um, and uh, oof, sorry, sorry I'm covering everything, but make sure you unforbid the soap, because we just had one guy die because we have forbidden the soap because we are annoyed that, that <laughs> they keep canceling cleaning themselves. It's a, it's a trade-off. You have to be very careful when you forbid these things.
because otherwise they will clean patients with just water and that leaves uh, infection quite uh, possible. And uh, that's it for now. Um, I will see you next part.